the family of Glenn Doherty. He died during the terror attack in Benghazi, and after years of fighting, there's a new change in the way the government recognizes his ultimate sacrifice. New attend. WBZ's Julie Lonchek spoke to his family about that sacrifice. Julie? Glenn Doherty's mother, Liam, tells me this was never about the money. It was, she says, about respect and dignity. Painful. Because you're dealing with sorrow, and then you're dealing with a government that um, lied to you. Barbara Doherty fought for her son, for other families, and because she says it was the only thing to do. But I knew I had to go on until, until a wall was completely put up in front of me. Glenn Doherty died in the 2012 attack on the U.S. diplomatic facility in Benghazi, along with three other Americans. He was an honorable person, and he died. He didn't have to die. The CIA operative and former Navy SEAL was denied death benefits he paid for because of the Defense Base Act, an outdated law that did not provide benefits to families of employees or contractors without dependents or spouses. For the Doherty family, that simply not. wasn't acceptable. The money is inconsequential. It was about doing the right thing. For three and a half years, they fought. You feel that you're being knocked down again. And then you get up and, you know, you have your cry and you feel a little pity party and then you go on. And just this week, they won a $400,000 payout. Because of their efforts, dozens of other families will now benefit as well. So what do you think he's saying up there now? Oh, he's smiling. He says, Mom, you can have that drink now. <laughs> Several political figures, including Senator Markey and Congressman Lynch, applauded the approval of the benefits. Ms. Doherty tells me she plans on throwing a block party to celebrate. Julie Lonchek, WBZ News. Paula, back to you. Julie, thanks.